to begin with our skull project for part four, we have the common carotid, the common sinus, the internal carotid, the external carotid, the ophthalmic artery, the superior thyroid artery, the ascending pharyngeal artery, the lingual artery, the facial artery here, here, as well as here. The ascending palatine artery, the sub submental artery, the inferior labial artery, the superior labial artery, the angular artery, the occipital artery here, as well as here, the postauricular artery, there and here, the maxillary artery, the middle meningeal artery, the inferior alveolar artery, the mylohyoid artery, the mental artery, the incisive artery, the masteric artery, the pterygoid artery, the deep temporal artery, the buccal artery, the PSA artery, Next, we have the descending palatine artery. Then we have the GP artery, the LP artery, the IO artery, the ASA artery, the MSA artery, the sphenopalatine artery, the nasopalatine artery, the superficial temporal artery, here and here, the transverse artery, the middle temporal artery, the frontal temp the front frontal branch of superficial temporal artery, the parietal branch of the superficial temporal artery. For veins here, we have the internal jugular vein. We then have our facial vein here, as well as right here. We then have the supplemental vein, the inferior labial vein, the superior labial vein, the angular vein, the suborbital vein, the ophthalmic veins, the lingual vein here on the tongue, the super superior thyroid vein, the cavernous venous sinus, here, the PSA vein, the pterygoid venous plexus, the maxillary vein, here, as well as here, the IA vein, the mental vein, the superficial temporal, temporal vein, here, as well as here, the deep facial vein, the emissary veins, the retromandibular vein, the external jugular vein, the occipital vein, the posterior auricle vein, the anterior jugular vein. And for part five of the school project, we have the lacrimal vein, or excuse me, lacrimal gland. We then have the parotid gland and Stenson's duct. We also have the submandibular gland and Wharton's duct. 
and we have the sublingual gland and Bartholin's duct. And finally, we have our thyroid gland.